and this is me, Demon Wolf, and welcome back to the next episode of Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2. I'm not playing the first one because that's hard. I've seen videos of it and it looks insane. Yeah. Yeah. So five hits and run. Nope. Stop hitting me, you bloody dubber dubber dude. Run button. Isn't there... Oh, uh, there we go. Hey, thank you. What else do you got? Wait. Wait, wait. Oh, that's a stun. That's cool. Didn't know that. Actually, stuns him for a while. Yeah, uh, he was not moving, I still got hit. Oh, you bad. All the clever. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, I'm running. Up this way. Oh, it's Fisherman Drew. I think his name's Joe. Oh, Claude. Fish aren't baiting much today. I left my new bait at my house in yesterday. How could I be so forgetful? Now I must go get his bait. Uh, fudge it. I'll use it. I don't know how much time I need to level up. Uh, I am speeding up Zully's. You will uh, not catch up with me. Ow. I won't be able to hit them because it's Super Saiyan. Okay. Uh, you will die by my hand. Thank you. For complying with my needs. I'm supposed to go up there, but I think I am anyway. I'm gonna go right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I uh, do the whole. What is it? Uh, this one? There it is. No point your data. This giant robot bears the insignia of the Red Ribbon Army. Scanning indicates this that this robot was designed for military purposes. <coughs> the thick zero mantium armor on this robot makes it invulnerable to most conventional attacks. Which is why I'll just beam it in the face. Beat the crap out of it. Oh, that is so handy. I'm keeping that equipped. Or on. Okay, that just goes up here. Okay. Okay, it looks more threatening from this side. Oh, pardon me. Hello, Mr. Bearman. Bearman? I think it's a bear. I forgot I got that. No, I ain't that creepy. Damn bug. That thing is disgusting. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. It looks like whatever it is crawled off after it shed its skin. <coughs> Do you think it's some sort of giant? Uh, I don't know how to say that word. This might be what hatched out of that eggshell. What if that thing is still around here? I can't imagine anything more revolting. Listen guys, I'm leaving. We should really head back to Roshi's Island. <coughs> if the androids attack there, they might need our help. Maybe. God damn it. For the last four years, I have felt a terrible disturbance taking shape on the earth below. Great evil, but it wasn't the androids that I sensed. There was another threat. A vile creature which I'm afraid will prove to be a hundred times more lethal and cunning than even the androids. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I need to wipe my muscle. <coughs> what are you talking about? 
explain yourself right now. Hey, Krillin, come look at what's on TV. Coming to you live from Gingertown. To recap, the situation, all activity in the West City suburb of Gingertown came to a screeching halt this morning. <coughs> when the entire population mysteriously vanished into thin air. All of the 15,000 residents have suddenly disappeared. Piles of garments lie scattered throughout the city. It's as though these people were sucked right out of their clothes. There are also indicates that there are also indications that these people may have been trying to defend themselves against someone or something. <coughs> this is terrible. Those androids must be behind this. I doubt it was the androids killing. I have a feeling this was something that has something to do with the. Uh, Something to do with some sort of strange creature we find evidence of. Ugh. You old fool. You like keeping me in the suspense, don't you? Why won't you tell me what is going on down there? It's awful. Even worse than I feared. Look, old man. I have no intention of asking you again. I need to know what's happening on Earth. Yes, but telling you is pointless now. What? Why? Because when you and I become one, you will know for yourself. So you finally came to your senses. I was beginning to wonder how Lana would take. Our union will make you more powerful, Piccolo. And you will obtain my fast knowledge. I hope you will use these new powers wisely. No, Kami, no! There is nothing to worry about, Popo. Piccolo has changed. The evil that once filled his entire being has greatly diminished. And when we unite, I trust he will use our combined powers in the service of good. I thank you for all you've done for me, Popo. Goodbye, Kami. I'll miss you. Please be careful. I kill small children. <laughs> I can't help it. That face. It's just the face of a... A psycho. Piccolo has achieved the level of 27. Piccolo now has supernamic form. Piccolo can now use the scatter shot. No longer am I Kami or Piccolo. I'm Kamiklo. <laughs> oh god. I am the Namek who was long since forgotten his name. I must go. Never fear, for Kamikolo is here! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh no. No. Snow. No. I need to go to the north of this place, because I didn't go there. Like, up here. Oh, I can't anyway, can I? Can I get in there? Oh, that's where I do go. Oh, okay, and then we... Bang. This, there appears to be nothing of interest inside. Uh, is this West City? Just a question. I'll get that guy's, uh, bit tackle next time. Green dress. Oh my god. Oh, pardon me. Squeeze me very much. What's over this way? Out my face. Uh, anything like a capsule or pizza? Oh, capsule. Yeah, I got a capsule. Uh, can I get off? There we go. Oh, look at that. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> when I've gotten all of this, all of this vermin out of the way, you're next, Piccolo. What did you say? My name's not Piccolo, it's Kamiklo. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh every time I say that. That's, Piccolo's name is not Kamiklo, I don't care. What's the matter? You seem afraid, Piccolo. 